Hi everyone, my name's Mike Sherry, and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. We're a dealer that sells RVs nationwide. Uh, and to little, learn a little bit more about us, uh, pause this video, you can come back to it, it'll be on YouTube, uh, and just go to Google, type in Paul Sherry RVs, there you'll find out who we are through our ratings on the right. We have, uh, I think, 500 reviews right now. So thank you very much. We're probably one of the highest rated uh, and most rated RV dealerships in the United States. So thank you to all of our customers who have uh, took time and left us a review. Uh, today, and what I do mostly in these videos is just show you uh, floor plans in video format. A little bit more information and some commentary. Uh, you're gonna gain some a little bit more insight than what you can from just a typical details page on an RV website, which just shows you pictures and has some information. So I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth with you today and doing this walkthrough on this brand new 2020 Sabre. So the Forest River Sabre has been a brand that's been in the industry for probably a couple decades now, but this particular Sabre edition is about three years in the works. So what happened about three years ago was the Sabre brand got taken from Palomino, which is another Force River brand, and uh, is now under the control of the Cherokee brand. Uh, and if you've been watching my videos in the past, you know that Cherokee is the top selling brand of pullables in the RV market right now, and has been for the last two years. So they have a lot of good things going for them. They have a lot of good vision, a lot of good management, a lot of some of the best workforce in the industry. Uh, but on top of that, they have a huge economy of scale. Since they're building and selling more pullable uh, travel trailers and fifth wheels than anyone else in the market, they can buy awnings cheaper, fridges cheaper, uh, the fiberglass cheaper, the rubber roof cheaper, everything a little bit less money because they buy more of them. Uh, and that's what they've done with this Forest River Sabre brand. So they've actually made it nicer than what it ever was. And the cost on it is actually less than what it was three and four years ago. So all new Sabre, this is the 31 IKT, which I personally like this floor plan for the countertop space and the big bedroom king bed up there. Uh, I'm excited to show that to you. So the Sabre brand comes with the solid fiberglass front cap. Now this cap wraps all the way around several inches into the sidewall here, probably about eight inches just right there alone. Uh, and that's gonna really keep the nose of this fifth wheel very structurally sound because that's a solid, very heavy duty fiberglass cap there. The 31 IKT, which is what we're looking at here, has three slide outs on it. Uh, this particular one does come with the high gloss gel coat finish here. Uh, so you're gonna have a little bit premium finish on your fiberglass sidewalls. You do have storage up front here. Uh, this is also your battery compartment. Does come with a battery disconnect is what we're looking at right there. Uh, and that's a lot of your workings of your landing gear and things of that sort. Does come with two propane bottles, one on each side. Both are 20 pounds, which is easy to exchange them. And then an awesome pass-through storage here. So it's oversized pass-through storage. It's finished off with a nice, easy to clean linoleum. And it is also heated as well. Now, what we're looking at here in terms of the construction here is aluminum studs. Uh, that's how this fifth wheel is going to be primarily built. Uh, so you get a little bit lighter weight and a little bit heavier duty construction by having the aluminum compared to the wood. Uh, this compartment here is going to be your water hookup uh, compartment. It's all nicely done in here. What I appreciate here, especially this time of year, is the winterized valve. So there's no getting to the back of the water heater and turning valves and tearing apart part of your camper to do that. You just simply turn these two valves here and that bypasses your water heater for you. Uh, this also has uh, a black tank flush. Uh, this also connects right here to your water pump for when you go to winterize it with the antifreeze. And then you have both of your water fills up top here. And then what I like about you have a drain down here. This uh, cap's going to unscrew. And this will also allow water to come through there very nicely as well. So I'll get that put back on. This has the big water heater. It's your 10-gallon quick recovery gas or electric water heater. And here's your second slide on this side. Coming around to the rear, this does have the optional travel rack back here, as we can see. Comes with a full-size spare tire as well. 
and has a ladder to get up onto the roof to do the roof maintenance, which is uh, a requirement on all RVs. No matter what you purchase, you have to do your roof maintenance. And that's part of our training class that we provide here at the dealership at no charge to you. Something else that kind of sets Paul Sherry's apart is we, we provide that class at no charge uh, by experienced RV professionals to show you how to not only work your RV, but how to maintain it. All right, so I've got the power on in here. Uh, I've got it almost all the way out and it's an adjustable power awning. Here's the other side of your pass-through storage. And this also has a dorm style refrigerator as you can see there. Coming up into the camper, it has the four entry step secure step provided by more ride and then we have the 31 IKT there it is right there stepping up in here I just want you to focus on the countertop area so a ton of kitchen space this is the the cooks fifth wheel they will absolutely love this from the pendulum lighting above the island kitchen to all the countertop space to the residential refrigerator uh, plenty of cabinet space just look at all the cabinet space here this has the big barn style stainless steel sink and faucet to match more cabinet space four drawers off to the left here has the big oven and the three burner lp gas range uh, nice microwave have a whole pantry in here so quite the kitchen uh, it also comes with the freestanding dinette tables, you can see here. Theater seats on this side, those are directly across from the television entertainment system. Uh, they recline. They also have a heat feature and a massage feature to it. So it's a nice place to sit down and relax, maybe after a long day of swimming or hiking or uh, just doing what you do when you go camping. A uh, big flat screen television here with a radio directly below it. This is gonna control speakers now that are in the ceiling inside this camper, but also outside on the underneath the awning area. Uh, Furion space heater as well. And then we have this couch here. This is gonna be uh, a sleeper sofa. Uh, it comes out to about a queen size bed, so just extra sleeping right there, which is a nice thing to have. Uh, and then there is some storage above it. And I also wanna point out, there's a crown molding along the edges here, and there's indirect lighting above that crown molding, uh, if you can see that there. So that's a nice classy feature. A couple steps to get up into the bathroom and kitchen area. I like to point out that the steps are not carpeted. Carpeted steps wear out when they're brand new, just sitting here on the lot. So it's nice not having that. Uh, this unit is equipped with the uh, leveling control system. Uh, and this control panel here also has all your manuals and some troubleshooting guides here. But to level this fifth wheel, uh, you can do it just with a push of a button right here. And that is really nice to have. Uh, that's gonna be like your class A a motorhome leveling style system so it's not stabilizing it actually levels this fifth wheel uh, awning controls slide controls all right here some lighting controls here uh, these buttons are all absolutely lit up so you can see them at night which is a nice feature to have and then your monitor panel right up here this is going to work your water heater and also tell you your levels of your different uh, tanks there so two doors up here, the one to our left is gonna come into an all-in-one bathroom. Uh, this bathroom does feature the, the glass shower doors. Uh, has a seat in there to sit down, uh, which is nice if you do shave your legs. Uh, has the skylight up top here and plenty of interior height. So I'm six foot tall and this ceiling's probably six, four, six, five, uh, to give you an idea there. And uh, does have some storage here behind the medicine cabinet. And then uh, Cherokee's known in their, their brand of uh, pullables to put the big sink in the kitchen. A lot of companies put such a small sink and you just look at them the next time you're looking around. You can't even put your hands in them, so that's nice to have. Uh, and then, uh, of course, you have your stool in here. And then there is a good enough footprint here, as you can see, that you could actually get changed in this bathroom, which is something that you can't do in all bathrooms and, and campers. Uh, and then behind here, you have plenty of room here to store uh, extra toiletries, towels, and things of that sort. 
Okay, then through the second door is going to be your master bedroom, which I absolutely fall in love with. Uh, so this bedroom is going to have the king bed option. That is an option in this fifth wheel. It comes with the queen, but it can fit a king like what we have here today. And then it also comes with the Versa lift, which is your tilting bed. Uh, so that can come flat. You can see it going down there. It can lay totally flat or it can come up for more of a reading position. Up front here, we have two mirrored wardrobes. They come together on these nice barn style doors. Uh, and behind them is what we're looking at here. It has a hanging closet from one side to the other. Uh, and it is prepped for washer dryer, uh, as you can see the plumbing right there. I also like this uh, closet because it has a couple cool features. It has this uh, storage area here for shoes. And then it also has a light in it, which seems simple, but so many of these closets that I show don't have a light. So, oh, sorry, my... Uh, my gimbal, the thing that holds my camera, has been losing battery power. So I got a new one coming, uh, and this one's just not cutting it out anymore. So, but that is pretty much the end of our walkthrough on this Forest River Saber here. So let's see here. I think I got it on there. So sorry about dropping off the side of the edge there. But I got a new one coming today, so I'll be back at this uh, with the new gimbal. So I'm excited about that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll post information below that has current inventory of this current pricing uh other saber floor plans to look at if you like the saber brand it's a cool brand i uh, did want to mention and i forgot to mention but i'm glad i rem remembered right now saber is the fastest growing brand of fifth wheels in all of fifth wheel world so uh it's really cool that they're doing that just shows you that a lot of customers are seeing value in it it's it's quite the value so make sure you click on the link to get the current pricing uh and also uh financing's available i'll post the links below there with approved credit and if you're looking to trade out maybe you have a travel trailer thinking about getting into a fifth wheel by all means what i usually tell the customers that are doing that and they're a little leery if you have the truck that can pull it you're going to tell yourself after you pull your fifth wheel why in the world did i ever pull a fifth wheel for so long or pull a travel trailer for so long because these fifth wheels pull so much better they don't sway as bad the weight's right above the axle of your pickup truck so it's definitely a delight to pull compared to a really big travel trailer uh, which is what you would need to fit all this stuff that this fifth wheel has in it. So thanks for watching. Everyone have a great remainder of your day.